Pond owners may become dissatisfied with the quality of fishing in their pond and wonder if their pond is in balance. Balance meaning the proper ratio of bass to brim. Balance can be determined fairly simply by two different ways. The first way is by angling and observation. Fishing the pond and observing the fish that are caught as well as those bass and brim too small to be caught by hook and line. If anglers fish a pond frequently, keep track of the numbers, sizes, and condition of the fish they catch and the amount of time fished, often a pond owner can use this information along with the help of the district fisheries biologist to determine the balance of their pond. The key is that enough fishing has to take place so that a representative sample of the brim and bass are caught. Anglers may have to move around to several spots in an effort to locate fish. They may have to use different presentations or techniques to discover what lures or baits fish will bite that day. By early summer, anglers should target fishing early mornings and late evenings if possible. Anglers need to fish for brim with a variety of live bait and very small artificial lures. Bass anglers need to use several sizes and types of soft and hard plastic baits and fish for bass of all sizes. If a variety of sizes of both bass and brim are being caught, then the pond is probably balanced. The total weight of fish that a pond supports may be comprised of many fish, too small to be desired by anglers, or of a lesser number of large fish. A desirable bass brim population is one in which 60 to 85 percent of the total weight is composed of harvestable sized fish. If a pond maintains such a population and provides satisfactory yields of fish from year to year, it is considered to have a balanced fish population. Normally in balanced ponds, most of the bluegill caught by anglers are larger than six inches and the average bass weighs one to two pounds. Pond owners should see bass beds and pairs of bass cruising in shallow water as the water warms in late February, March, and April. By April and May, recently hatched out bass fry are about an inch long with their prominent black lateral line and are found near the bank or around woody cover close to shore. In balanced ponds, pond owners should see large areas of brim beds located on a sand or gravel bank in shallow water with brim on or near the beds several times throughout the spring and summer. Beginning in May and June, schools of recently hatched out brim fry can be found around pier pilings or at the edge of weed beds and scatter or flash at the first sign of trouble. Balance in pond can also be deduced by pulling a seine and capturing young of year largemouth bass and bluegill that have recently hatched. From June to October, pond owners with a few hauls of a minnow seine can determine balance in their pond. A seine with eighth inch mesh, four or five foot deep and 15 foot long is recommended. Pull the seine in at least six spots around the pond where the pond bank is open and grassy. Areas of the pond you seine should be less than four feet deep and the bottom should be composed of hard clay, sand, or gravel, and free of stumps, rocks, and weeds. Anchor one end of the seine to the bank. The other end of the seine is stretched to its full length, perpendicular to the bank, and swept back to the bank in an arc. It will be helpful to record the numbers and sizes of the various species caught in the seine. Also record the presence or absence of aquatic weeds, a heavy silt load, and the water temperature. In some ponds by late summer, young of year bass are large enough to be difficult to catch in a 15-foot seine. A larger seine is used in determining their relative abundance. The larger seine is also used to confirm the findings of the small seine, determine the presence of competitive species, and obtain a better idea of the abundance of intermediate brim. A few terms need to be discussed to better understand the seining key. Bluegill fry hatched out within the last month are less than one inch in length and are translucent enough 
so you can see their vertebrae through their flesh. Intermediate sized bluegills are from two and a half to five and a half inches in total length. They are the bite sized forage for adult bass and will replace big brim that are harvested or die of old age. Young of year bass are bass that have hatched out in the spring. They are typically one to four inches in total length during the early summer and four to six inches later in the year. The seining key must be used with care. Fish populations are highly variable and conditions within a population change rapidly. It is a useful tool to determine the condition of balance and the corrective measures necessary to improve fishing. Fishing records and other observations should also be considered when making your assessment. If in doubt, contact your district fisheries biologist to discuss your findings.